Hi guys and welcome back to Life with Klikai. I'm here with Copper and I've also got Sky. she sat down here beside me. And today for this video I wanted to answer the question that we get asked the most on Instagram and that is where did we get Copper and Sky from? So I'm going to give you a bit of insight into how we ended up with Copper and Sky. But before I get started I just wanted to ask one favour of you guys. If you're looking to learn more about Alaskan Klikai or you just love these dogs in general then please do hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time we upload a new YouTube video. We appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and all the support that we've been getting. So with that over, let's get cracking. We're gonna find out where Copper and Sky came from. So one of the questions we get asked the most, whether it's on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or through email, is where did we get Copper and Sky from? And today I thought I'd finally tackle that question and give you guys the answer. But beforehand, I want to give you a bit of background about how we ended up with Sky and Copper and our own search for the right Alaskan Klikai breeder for us. So my wife had first heard about the Alaskan Klikai when she was in her early teens and she had been wanting to get an Alaskan Klikai for quite some time. And it was actually her that introduced me to the breed. And when we decided that we were ready to get our first dog, Yasmin spent about six months researching more about Klikai, looking at the different breeders and then finally setting on the breeder that was the best fit for us. Hello, he's a copper. Hey, buddy. Now, if you go onto the Alaskan Klikai Association of America's website, they have a list of all the breeders who have signed up to their code of ethics. That's probably your best bet if you are looking to get a Klikai and you want to make sure that you're getting one from a reputable, experienced and ethical owner. So, usually when you contact an Alaskan Klikai breeder, they're going to ask you to fill out a questionnaire and that's because they want to make sure that you are going to be a responsible owner of a Klikai, that you are in the right living and personal circumstances to own a dog such as you have the ability to exercise them because they do need a lot of exercise, you have the ability to care for them, you have the financial resources to ensure that you can pay for pet insurance for them. There's lots of things that you will have to run through in your contract with a breeder. Of course, you should also ask the breeder questions like, can I come out and meet the parents of your potential pup? Can I see proof of health and vet checks? And there are a number of other things that you will want to consider. We decided to go with Nordic Mini Husky and the breeder is called Brenda. She is one of the Alaskan Klikai breeders that has signed up to the Code of Ethics on the AKK OA's website. And we got Sky in September 2017 and Brenda was amazing at providing us with information on how to get settled with Sky, such as buying cat litter, puppy training pads, using a crate. There was a number of things that she helped us with. And we obviously had such a great experience with Sky that we decided we were gonna get a second Klikai about four or five months after we had adopted it Sky initially. And we did a lot of research again into how to introduce your second Klikai to your first Klikai, spoke to other owners who had two Klikai. And we were looking to get a red and white Alaskan Klikai. And initially, I don't think Brenda had a red and white litter that was available at the time. And we were gonna go with a gray and white Alaskan Klikai or potentially another breeder. But ultimately we decided to be patient and we waited a couple of extra months and Brenda really helped us find the perfect companion for Sky. Because at that time Sky was quite shy. She hadn't really come out of her shell and she felt that Copper would be the perfect mix because he was more of an outgoing dog at the time and he was very playful, but he was also very affectionate and loving. Copper has proven the perfect pack mate for Sky. They get on so, so well. They have such an amazing bond. And they actually have the same dad, which is something that is really special. So, to answer everyone's question, where did we get our Alaskan Klikai? It is from Nordic Mini Husky, and the breeder is Brenda Tobin. And I would recommend going onto the Alaskan Klikai Association of America's website and checking out the breeders they have there. Now, if you are looking to get an Alaskan Klikai, but you don't live in the USA, there are options around the world. So you can get breeders in the UK, there's breeders in Russia, there's breeders in Australia, there's breeders in Canada, there's breeders in Singapore, and that's all covered on the Alaskan Klikai Association of America's website. If you have questions about Alaskan Klikai, we are always more than happy to try and help. What I would say though, is that they are quite a challenging breed, especially if you're a first time owner. They're absolutely amazing dogs, but they can have some potential issues that you should do your research on. So please do research if you're thinking about getting the Klikai and make sure that you are in the right stage of your life to own one of these dogs. So I hope that answers everyone's question. If you're looking to learn more about Alaskan Klikai, then please do watch some more of our videos on our YouTube channel. 
We would love if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Life with Klikai. You can also find us on Instagram. You can find us on TikTok. If you have questions, you can also email us, lifewithklikai at gmail.com. And finally, I actually have an Alaskan Klikai podcast called the Life with Klikai podcast. And there I've spoken to other owners of this breed, so you can actually get a feel for what the different types of personalities Alaskan Klikai can have. But for now, I'm going to sign off. That's all from me. Thank you for watching, and we will be back soon with another video. <laughs>